First, the headlines. The attitude of Union Home Minister Amit Shah clearly indicates that the central government has totally neglected the state of Manipur and its people, says MPCC working president. No need for election campaigns for the upcoming 18 Lok Sabha elections. Only the general public needs to think wisely and act decisively, says Chief Minister N. Birin. Holy festival of Idul Fitr of Islam followers celebrated widely in the state. Weapons rupees 13 lakh cash seized in Ukru during joint operation One Health. One hundred and seventy four dead anniversary of late Maharast nursing observed. And curfew relax in Infal East Waste and Thobal District till ten PM. For Kapching District curfew has been relaxed till eight PM. In Bistopo District curfew has been relaxed till five PM today. A very good evening. You're watching Elite TV English News, and this is Yali Matongrom giving you the news in details. The attitude of Union Home Minister Amit Shah indicates that the centre completely neglects the people of Manipur. Not only the people of Manipur, but also the state government should boycott the election rally of Amit Shah on 14 April at Imphal, says K. H. Debabrata, working president of MPCC. Talking to reporters in a press meet held at Congress office today, he said that on June 2 last year, when the Union Home Minister Amit Shah was in Imphal, the minister ensured the people of Manipur that he would come at Imphal after 10 days with the amicable solution to resolve the conflict between Maitei and Kuki that started since May 3 last year. But he did not come again in Manipur and the conflict prevails. There is no resolution to end the conflict. But now after 300 days of Home Minister Assurance, the ruling BJP as a part of election campaign is preparing to hold a public meeting at Hafta Kangjebung on 14 April. In the public meeting, Home Minister Amit Shah will address the public we should boycott his visit in Manipur. The recent statement of the Prime Minister Modi made the people confusion. In an interview, the Prime Minister stated that the conflict between Maitei and Cookies almost come to end due to the timely intervention of the central government. We condemn the statement of the Prime Minister. What kind of intervention was made by the centre regarding the Manipur's conflict, he asks. The conflict is still yet to be observed. It may continue after the Lok Sabha election, he added. Masih reality ni, ada Prime Minister Hai Bisen, si tu yang orang nak matong cakap dengan mana punya perjalanan ini, wakil ini siapa, yang mana disturb tu, apa, kau si, kari no tau ni, sen cangkuk ngan bar, bar ke perjalanan, kau faham kau ye tau benda, macam macam tabu bar lah, tu yang bida bar, kau tu minority ni nak kena dengan sentimen dia lagi ni, aduk kau ni satu pun boleh buat sila, tapi mana masih tu perjalanan kau tu dekat tu, pi mana yang nak kau ni, tau je, barang ni perjalanan power tu ni kau kau. Tham Joy Seng. Ado, Prime Minister PM na hai bu state mena seng. Kuna Tham Joy kena. Tarai tarai na pahai ta hai bu ayo. Prime Minister ki state mena pun badi official na tani na. Madu ki background chair mada documents khara leh kani. Documents si Manipuri pibang agda leh hai bu seng. Manipuri gal mena na iba na tana baras kikar na koi bhaan ne saari iba diya. Manipur Yuzhi Oye Pak Pibam Siddha 
election manunga kari ji san kana se khulai nomai maru ka ta no hai bi mata na ten political party ke liye president singh hai gar mase khushen ni yan hai si Chief Minister Enbiran has expressed that there is no need for campaigning for the upcoming 18 Lok Sabha elections. Only the general public needs to be wise and make their decisions correctly. The statement was made today during a public interaction program held at the residence of Johnson Elangbam at Kisamthong Elangbam Likai. The interaction program was attended by Nagaland General Secretary Abhi Kumar Giri, Nagaland State's Higher Education Minister Tim Jind. Imna Along, BJP Manipur Pradesh spokesperson Johnson Englangbam, and other important party workers of BJP. During the interaction program, Chief Minister N. Biren further stated that amidst the current crisis which sparked off on May 3, we have been remaining in darkness as to who is or are our real enemies, how are we going to face them, and how are we going to protect our territorial boundary has been brought to light to some extent through the health of videos and visuals which have come before the public domain. Such visuals have clearly shown as to how the current crisis began and some of the underlying causes. In such a situation, there is no need to conduct election campaigns for the upcoming 18 Lok Sabha elections and instead it will be wise if the general public is enlightened and more discussion are held on the current scenario of the state to find ways to bring an amicable solution to restore peace and normalcy in the state, he added. Confusion <laughs> continuously September, October, November, December, January, February, March, see April get thakai si bol. Narang ang husik to soi student ay na mama loy kuidri. Diam yugi saatra saatri moy chani chom ah chani chawala. Introduction to moy the kangen ba? Isu si kangen ni karam da koi thowi da bni. The festival of Idul Fitr, the festival of fast breaking, is an important religious holiday celebrated by Muslims worldwide that marks the end of Ramadan, the Islamic holy month of fasting. The holiday celebrates the conclusion of the 29th or 30 days of down to sunset fasting during the entire month of Ramadan. As the date of it depends on the sighting of the moon, there may be variations in the exact date that is celebrated around the world. The announcement of the exact dates of Adel Fitr may not happen until close to the start of Ramadan. Adel Fitr is often called the festival of breaking the fast. The practice of down to sunset fasting during the holy month of Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. Other key elements of the Eid celebration are giving money to the poor, known as Jakat al Fitr. The amount to be given depends on the possession someone has, sending it greetings and fasting with families. For many Muslims, Eid al Fitr is a festival to show gratitude to Allah for the health and strength He gave them throughout the month of Ramadan to help them practice self control. The day is also celebrated in Manipur.
Similarly, as some rifles with local populations share the message of caring, sacrifice and peace by collectively organizing EID, organizing its celebration at Sangayufu village of Thongbal. During the event, sarbat and sweets are distributed among local populace. The force known as Sentinels of Northeast is encircled with an aim to strengthen the existing bonding and harmony with the local population in addition to tighten the community ties. A total of approximately 400 people, including children, attended the mega function. The children were enthralled with the presence of Assam Rifles during the Eid Festival. These thoughtful gestures from Assam Rifles has won accolades from the vocal from the local populace. The village authorities and the various merged com committees express their heartfelt gratitude towards the selfless commitment and social responsibility of the Assam Rifles and keeping the local populace safe from miscreants. Meanwhile, Professor of Islam Religion of Bishnupur district also celebrated the Holy Festival of Idul Fitr in Maitai Pangal dominated areas under Kwakta. As a part of today's celebration, around 10,000 people of Kwakta Municipal Council and Kwakta Gram Panchayat attended Kwakta, Idiga, Achoba, Lampak, and offered the prayers. Further, around 8,000 people offered prayer at Kwakta Kuman Tongkong. Idiga Lampak and Kwakta Kuman Awang at Kwakta Kuman. Members of Maitai Pangal community during today's Holy Festival prayed for early solution to the current crisis in the state and also wish for peaceful coexistence and mutual love among all communities residing in the state of Manipur. In a collaborative effort, the Assam Rifles alongside the Manipur police successfully apprehended a suspect who was found in possession of significant sum of rupees 13 lakhs 11,130 in cash. Additionally, the apprehended individual was discovered to have in their possession a case of weaponry including a carbine machine gun, a pistol, a granite, a sword gun, and accompanying ammunition. Subsequent to the operation, both the suspect and the recovered items were transferred to the custody of the Ukrul police station, where for the investigation are set to take place to delve into the circumstances surrounding this apprehension and the possession seize. The Kukijo villagers in various fringe areas in the hill district vehemently protest against the Home Ministry order to remove both the security force or the BSF personnel stationed in the fringe area at the Lok Sabha pool. Villagers of Hawaii Kuki mostly women in Kamjong district and the Litan police station took to the street early this morning at around 6 a.m. protesting against the Ministry of Home Affairs order to remove BSF personnel stationed in their village. Ho Hoi Haukip, one of the protesters, voiced their intention to sit on the road and demonstrate until their demands were, were met. She also declared firmly that no BSF personnel would leave their village until peace reigns in Manipur or alternative security measures are guaranteed. Expressing their apprehension, the protesters highlighted concern about the safety and security of their village in the BSF personnel way to be withdrawn. Facing the prospect of the BSF departure, the villagers refused to succumb to fear of their homes, their families and the very fabric of their community while arguing that the withdrawal of security forces would expose them to the looming threat of further attacks. Ho Hoi Hauke further said that our protest is not without reason. It harkened back to the tragic event of August 18 last year when the army screens unleashed terror upon our village. Hawaii Cookie, where they brutally killed three of our brave village youths, Tanko Kai Hauke, 35, Jamkogin Hauke, 26, and Boicha Baite, 24, who stood guard against the onslaught. The sacrifice remains etched in the collective memory of Hawaii Cookie, said Ho Hoi. While cautioning of potential displacement, Ho Hoi Hauke asserted that if the BSF personnel were removed, they would seek refuse and relief games as internally displaced persons. In their steadfast resolve, the protesting villagers embody the unwavering spirit of resistance against diversity, refusing to yield until justice and security are assured for all. Their defiance echoes 
far beyond the fringe area of Thawai Kuki, resonating with communities across Manipur, grappling with similar insecurities. In Molnoy area of Palin, in Tangnopal district also protested against the decision to withdraw the BSF personnel since yesterday evening. Villages of Hai Scotland Fai and Tuishom Zhang have taken to the streets at night vowing to blockade roads in protest against the plan to remove the BSF personnel. Ahead of the Matthias Day, Athoba Singe Numit, being observed every year on April 13, the proscribed Revolutionary People's Front RPF and its armed wing People's Liberation Army appeal to the people to torch candlelight at every residential gate to mark the occasion. It also appealed to all to keep off all entertainment programs on the occasion in paying tributes to the Revolutionary Matthias at their memorial, the Chingmeirong Cherao Ching. Thangmaiban in Imphal West. Furthermore, it also appeals to pay the highest revolutionary honor to all the martyrs who laid down their life during the course of the ongoing liberation movements. Deputy Publicity Secretary of the RPF, Robin Kuman, in a statement issued on Wednesday, stated that the observance is being held in honor of the seven PLA men who were killed in the Tekjum encounter on June 16, 1981, and nine PLA men killed in the Kadompopi encounter on April 13, 1982. Asserting that history is evidence of Manipuris cannot be challenged or subjugated, the RPF stated that the majority of the casualties in the ongoing Indo Manipur armed conflict are natives of Manipur. The RPF PLA has been fighting for the restoration of Manipur's lost sovereignty. Manipur merged with the Indian Union in 1948 after getting independence from the British. Princely state Manipur was under British rule from 1891 to 1947. And now let's take a short commercial break. Do stay tuned for more updates. Sky Hospital, providing 24-7 heart attack center in Manipur. Don't delay, call immediately if you are having symptoms of heart attack like sudden onset chest pain, breathlessness, pain in left arm, heaviness in chest, nausea, vomiting. Hurry, consult our internationally renowned UK trained heart specialist, Dr. El Shyam Kishore, Chief Cardiologist. Sky Hospital, having more than 30 years of experience. Also available services like device closure of hole in the heart, surgical closure of hole in the heart, coronary angioplasty stents, heart valve surgery and CABG pacemaker, ICD combo implant. For more details, please contact reception Sky Hospital. For Enchatpagi Maru, Adom Malimgi Fazaraba Mapam Kaya Sel Ichang Chandana Koyba Pam Vibra. Pam Viravadi Foreign Koyba Ki Maru Yao Biyo. Koi bhi gada bama pam singde Thailand, Dubai, Europe, Amazon package hoy na Thailand, Malaysia, Amadi, Singapore ni Thailand da koi bhi dabaak tha ke selun to pali sing manga khatte ni tha tarani thoi khat khun bhi gada bani Dubai ki hoy na tha ki to pali sing taruk masisu tha tarani thoi khun bhi gada bani Thailand, Malaysia, Amadi, Singapore package ki hoy na tha amada to pali sing tarik ka chama manga khun bhi gada bani masisu tha tarani thoi khat khun bhi gada bani. Europe ki oinadi thama ki lupali sing tara wangani adumakpo masi ki oinadi tha kun gamari khun di gadabani Hulli basen kam singa se 3 star hotel da laiba chaba tumba visa ki fee airport transfer sightseeing loina makya urabani Lakh liba april tara manga da ki registration house aragani aduga send khai na me tara manga da ki house aragani Khudom chaba si mangan di gano he na kupamaro ki damak masi mak contact tau biyo Seven Sisters Holiday, MG Avenue, Infal, Manipur. Contact number 0385-244-3977. Natrogana 244-3979. Mobile number 970-6123401. Natroga 8720-905337. Natrogana 8414808080. BJP Manipur Pradesh ki maike dagi noluk na Manipur ki miyam da thamjari ba wapam sing asi khana bina ba hangachari Manipur gi yelhau mi kanna na ba BJP na apun ba Indo Myanmar border fencing kha ba hau kre Manipur gi yelhau mi kanna na ba BJP na inner line permit ILP chanhan ke 
India Amadi Man Margi Marakta Ating Balaitana Mi Chang Baya Halamba Pre Movement Regime FMR BJP na Loktokre BJP na Manipur da Biometric Data Kongat Pahokre Amasung NRC Chana Hanaba Kongtang Lokat Pahokre Manipur da Gimitop Kandokpa BJP na Hokre Amasung Wa on Drugs Asi BJP Lenga Kimakada My Pak na Chang Shilakri Andaman and Nicobar Island da Mount Manipur amade Navy ship amabo INS Impal Haina BJP na mingthol pikre Maramashina serial number 2 BJP ki mirap oina puthok chari ba Sri Thaunaujam Basant Kumar Singha ki thambal yekpa markada iraicha singhi mamal yamla ba daita sina biduna tangdu laita ba mangjil thaba lamdam ama purakna ba khona minarasi Welcome back and let's see the further details. The 174 dead anniversary of Maharashtra nursing organized by the State Archaeology Department of Art and Culture Government of Manipur was observed today at Kangla. M. Joy Singh, Commissioner of Art and Culture Government of Manipur, K. Dinamani Singh, Director of Art and Culture Government of Manipur and R. K. Priyokumar Singh, Secretary MNMC Grace, the occasion as the chief guest president and guest of honor respectively. Speaking on the occasion, M. Joy said that Maharashtra nursing was a true patriot of Manipur. He fought the invasion of Burmese during the seven years the devastation to Tennel. He sacrificed his life for the sovereignty of Manipur. There were many works done by the late Maharashtra nursing for the sovereignty of Manipur that we cannot remember. He also worked for the integrity of Manipur. The present peaceful coexistence among the different communities of Manipur is the gift of Lead Maharas Nursing, he added. Floral tributes were offered to the statue of Maharas Nursing and gave a guard of honor by giving gun salute. <laughs> ตำมีบ่าสิคุยไลบ่าสเตลิบมีไอ้คุยคุนิมักสิสิอะซุกมะติกไลบ่พบ่าซิกมะอินิงทอซิกมะตอกตำนะตงมีรวนดาลากะต
On the other hand, Ojit Sorokabam expressed that the LMG donates some edibles to the family of late Karina Nungaitem in Humanity Ground. We human beings one day will die later or sooner. The LMG highly respected the spirit of late Karina Nungaitem to donate her organs to the needy person before she died. He added, ตีเซกตอกตะนะเนี่ยจนกะดีนาเดบีฮอสปิตาลดาโรนิงเนี่ยแจ็คเก็ตเอาไปมาตุงดาวิฮาวกีบาตางหุมดาไทมปัลทา
Aduh, aku society aku kena isi dah. Amana, ama gunung si sana ni hingmin dan ngai kita makta. Kali keram bah upaya aku tau bangambra. Aku kita tenggor su bang bibi ya kedra. Aku kita aduh gumba wakal londa. Aku kita mayam tu tinggal ni. Search ke pastor sing, dikin sing, aduh ke leader atau atau apa missing si, miss cakap belum masih. Aku kita tinggal masih dalam ini. As a precautionary measure taken against the deadly rabies, a mass anti-rabies vaccination program was conducted at the premises of the Dibong Ichel Club, Jiribam, today. It was organized by the Dibong Ichel Club in association with the Subdivisional Veterinary Hospital, Jiribam. Many dogs and cats located in seven villages of Jiribam, namely Alipur, Gularthol, Kalinagar, Champanagar, Vidyanagar, Uchartol, and Dibong were vaccinated anti-rabies vaccines in the program. In this regard, Dr. Heisnam Osarani Devi, Deputy Director, Subdivisional Veterinary Hospital, Jiribam said that vaccination of anti-rabies is the only means to protect from the deadly rabies. For the department, vaccination of anti-rabies to the pets is the daily routine. If a person is bite by the dog, he should not hide it. He should first wash the infected area with soap and hygienic water. Then go to the nearest primary health center for further treatment. See you then. Anak pak dari health center dan doktor kita ni bila kita makata ni bila kita sampai pak doktor kita orang yang dulu kerja kita ni, aduh kalau yang pak aku nak cuti pak aku itu kang pada ada di aku ni asal, aku nak isolate pak aku kalau tengah ni kalau mahu dapat pergi bersih di pak nak datang tu ni. Masai di hui asli kan ini masih bijak pun cukup tu bijak ramai tinggal kat jumpa interest. Apa yang hui sini kat jumpa siapa tarik kat ini siapa tarik kat dia puna hui siapa pun ada business dia ada business nara kat sini ni nak cari hal apa nak apa yang atau pelik ni ada nara sini ni ada sih confirm tu ni begini macam tu lah. Dan tu dia tu betul ni 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 mal husband jadi mak ada ni apa. Disease investigation laboratory high was based. Apa yang nak hui siapa sih nara sahaja pun nak kubi kat dalam ni apa juga. Ada itu dia stok tu dia kata dia high balai na si kanfam tu bukan kanfam yang high na dan na, kalau na high jadi mesti apa dia mesti jadi apa jadi gambar lagi apa apa kerja sih dia macam dia sih dia na si si macam sih dia mana top tu na apa yang yang dia yang apa apa dia dia yang tunggu sih na si entah dia bersih kapsu dia yang high bersih na. Kalau ya. Imphal West has participated at the Aztec Sports Championship 2024, held on April 7th at Farooq Nagar, Delhi, and came out successfully. Laishram Deep Singh representing Manipur played in the Sindhu team in the championship. He played in the crucial weight category in the sixth professional fight of the championship against the Haryana player Harsh Kumar. He defeated his opponent in the first round in 2 minutes and 38 seconds. He was accorded warm reception today at the Beard the Gain Reset International Airport, Infa. Jadi hobi ni gua, kalau jenis celebration gua, ini na wahai yang masih hajar ni, mungkin nak terbida, ini nama event dan every athlete tak hajar ni, macam pun muda, kerja guru masa kahang nak cepi, kerja guru masa kahang nak cepi, terus hati nak terus main papa senang ngamu, aduh gua ini hari ni betul macam muda kerja masa kahang nak cepi, terus hati nak main papa ngamu aja. Here we have another short commercial break. Do stay tuned for more updates. Shri Thaunauzam Basanta Kumar Singh, Nambol Kendra Utlaudagi, Hana Deputy CM Oiramba Padmashri Awardi DH Chaubagi Machani Pani. Manipopolis Department of IPS Oina Integrity Laina Thaupuram Labamadu Kumzala Singh Aniga Taraga Tarukta Chahi Nipanu Watlingaida Voluntarily Retirement Lauduna BJP Da Yauduna Politics ki lamda kong thang si lakhe. BJP ki achang ba member ama oiram bata natana taam anirag Vice President oiram khe. English singa niga kunga nit hoi gi. Assembly mikhal da nambol Assembly Constituency da BJP candidate oina mai paklag tuna. Cabinet Minister of Education, Law and Legislative Affairs ki firm puri ba Shri Thaunauzam Basanta Kumar Singh lakli ba April ki taang taraka maapanda pangkap kadawri ba. Lok Sabha Mikhalda Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency da BJP ki Mirya Poyna Election Thengna Zagadawri. 
Mahat na Education Minister ama oina Department asibu chaukat na ba panabata natana Government School dagi topper puto pangamle amadi kanglup ki irang asida malay bakthira ba mahiroy lising taraga mga hena liem na ming sanhiba pumnamak ning sing biduna ay koy gi Manipur gi saktam kanan abagi damak political background dayra ba amasung administration kangla ba miriap asibu parliamenta miyam gi pakuloy oyhan biduna Tang dulu lay taba, santi lay ba madi cakap ba iram dan manipul ama, oirat naba, kuat nami narasi. Kau bira ganu, kau bira ganu. Shri Thawnausan Basant Kumar Singh di serial number two, Thambal Yek Pemalka. Welcome back and let's see the further details. During a rally in Bikaner ahead of the upcoming Lok Sabha election 2024, Congress leader <coughs> Rahul Gandhi took aim at Prime Minister Narendra Modi, accusing him of favoring industrialists over farmer and highlighting critical issues of unemployment and inflation. Prime Minister Modi waved loans of 15 to 20 industrialists that money could have been used to pay MGN REGA wages for 24 years, says Rahul Gandhi. Gandhi held strong criticism as he pointed out Prime Minister Modi's decision to waive loans of 15 to 20 industrialists. He emphasized the staggering amount involved, stating that this money could have been utilized to pay wages for the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act for 20 This stark comparison drew attention to what he sees as skewed at priorities in economic policies. Furthermore, Gandhi highlighted what he termed as a historic anomaly. Farmers paying taxes. This statement underscored his concern about the economic burdens faced by farmers and the need for fair policies that prioritize their welfare. Addressing broader national issues, Gandhi lamented the apparent neglect of two significant challenges facing India unemployment and inflation. He criticized media houses for not giving adequate attention to this pressing concern, highlighting the disconnect between media narratives and ground realities faced by ordinary citizens. Gandhi's remark on the widespread concern about economic disparities, job opportunities and the rising cost of living. Three people have been arrested in Jammu and Kashmir, Baramula, for allegedly having links with the proscribed terror outfit Laskar e Tai, Taiba, LET. The development was confirmed by the local police on April 11th. The Baramula police and security forces arrested the three accused in Old Town, Baramula, after acting on intelligence input. 
Terror module busted in Old Town, Baramula Police arrest three terrorist associates of LET outfit. Grenades recovered, Baramula Police posted on X informing about the arrest of the accused. According to the police, the accused identified as Awais Aja Ahmed Waja, Basil Fayas Kalu, and Fahim Ahmed Mir were assisting terrorists and providing them with information about security force movement. The police further said that they aim to disturb the peace process in Baramula in view of forthcoming parliamentary election. Further investigation is underway. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Prema Khandu has expressed concern over crimes related to polygamy on tribal women in the state. Khandu stated that while polygamy is an O is an age old practice in tribal culture adopted by elders for reasons such as farming, hunting and wars, it should be avoided in the modern era. He emphasized the role of education in changing life and stated that human survival is sufficient in all aspects without the practice of polygamy. Kandu clarified that this was not an official statement but a personal view. He urged the apex body of all the tribes of Arunachal and community-based organizations to take a stand on the issue and initiate discussion on its societal impact. He further suggested that this bodies and recommendation to the government if legal support is needed to ban polygamy. The CM expressed his government's willingness to enact a law banning polygamy in the assembly following such recommendations. Kandu stated in our tribal culture polygamy is an age old practice adopted by our elders for several reasons like having a big family for farming activities, hunting and many reasons. But now, in the modern era when education is changing life and human survival is sufficient in all aspects, we should avoid practicing polygamy. It is not my official statement, rather my personal view is that we should stop the polygamy culture in our state. The apex body of all the tribes of Arunachal and community-based organization must take a stand on its and take initiative on, on its causes on the society through discussion involving intellectuals and send recommendation to the government if legal support is needed to ban polygamy, which will further lead to its complete ban and my government will happily put a ban on it through enacting a law in the assembly following the recommendation. <clears throat> the Rising People's Party of Nagaland has issued a press statement disputing the Chief Minister's claim at the PDA coordinating meeting held on April 8 that the NDPP-led government will never compromise the fate and identity of Nagas. The party alleges that in 2010, Chief Minister Rayo approved the establishment of the Rani Gaitin Liu Library Ka Memorial Museum at Kohima, which they claim could have become a center for Heraka and RSS activities in the state. They also accused him of failing to condemn the persecution of Christians, the burning of 249 churches, and the alleged persecution of the Kukijo community in Manipur. The party criticizes Rayo's silence on the Assam healing practices act, which imperils Christian's mission and the declaration of Easter Sunday 2024 as a working day by Nagaland University. They also questioned the appointment of yoga teachers in all government schools and went on the dope pay trade in the state. The party further alleged that Rayo did not oppose the beef ban imposed by Amit Saha and remained silent on the imposition of Hindi in schools. They also criticized his response to the scraping of the free movement regime, alleging that he proposed to compromise. They further accused the NDPP government of laxity in implementing the ILP in Dimapur, which they claim has become a breeding ground for immigrants and fundamentalist organization. The party concludes by stating that Nagaland is under threat from within the outside while the NDPP remains obli oblivious. President Draupati Murmu on April 11 greeted citizens on the occasion of Edel Fita wishing all for a part of progress, happiness, inspiring forgiveness 
and charity. Taking to acts, President Murmurut, I wish all my countrymen, especially my Muslim brothers and sisters, a very happy Eid al Fitr. The festival celebrated after the holy month of Ramjan spreads the spirit of unity, harmony, and brotherhood. This festival of sharing happiness inspires forgiveness and charity. On this auspicious occasion, I wish that our country continues to progress on the path of progress and all the countrymen always live in peace. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended his wishes on the occasion of Eid al Fitr. In a post on X, Prime Minister Modi said, Best wishes on Eid al Fitr. May this occasion further spread the spirit of compassion, togetherness, and peace. May everyone be happy and healthy. Eid Mubarak. <coughs> The Directorate of Vigilance terminated the services of Bevak Kumar, Private Secretary to Chief Minister Arvind K. Jirival, on Wednesday. His appointment was declared illegal and void ab initio. This action follows Kumar's questioning by the Enforcement Directorate in the Delhi Excise Policy case on Monday. Special Secretary Vigilance YVVJ Rajesh Sankar issued an order stating Kumar's was appointed in violation of central civil service rules related to temporary appointment. The order read the prescribed procedure and rules for the set engagement of Bhavav Kumar were not scrupulously followed, so such engagement is illegal and void of an issue. The order confirmed Kumar's services are terminated with immediate effect. Upon improvement in the law and order situation in Bali district, curfew has been relaxed till 10 p.m. today in Imphal East, Imphal West and Thobal districts. In Kaching district, curfew has been relaxed till 8 p.m. today. However, in Bistupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Traffic is seen as usual on the roads. Most of the soap and markets were open. Several people purchased their essential items during the curfew relaxation. For LATV News Channel, contact to the email address info at LATV.in or 9402890982 and subscribe to LATV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and X for more information about the channel. Before we close, let's see the headlines once again. The attitude of Union Home Minister Amit Shah clearly indicates that the general that the central government has totally neglected the state of Manipur and its people, says MPCC working president. No need for election campaigns for the upcoming 18 Lok Sabha elections. Only the general public need to think wisely and act decisively, says Chief Minister N. Birain. Holy festival of Eid al Fitr of Islam followers celebrated widely in the state. Weapon rupees 13 lakh case season accrual during joint operation. One health. One hundred and seventy four dead anniversary of late Maharashtra nursing observed. And curfew relax in Infal East, West, and Tobal District till ten PM. For Kapching District, curfew has been relaxed till eight PM. In Bishnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till five PM today. That's all for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us and keep watching LTV English News. Till then, take care, stay safe and good night.